Hey everybody, we are Project Team A and we're excited to share our pharmacy project proposal with you today. My name is Casey Taylor. I'm Will Abel Hassan. My name is Jared Beatty. I'm Rika Bell Pagara. I'm Jonathan Royster. So we wanted to give you a little forecast of what we're going to get into today with our agenda. First, we're going to talk about a project overview, then we'll get into the location, land, and zoning of our project. We'll talk a bit about the project schedule, uh, the cost estimate, and a little bit more about the project financials and the cost benefit analysis. We'll get into our risk management plan, and then we'll uh, wrap up with a project justification. So starting off with the project overview, the building type and purpose of this project is both retail and pharmacy, similar to a CVS or Walgreens. The building size is approximately 13,000 square feet and it's a single story. The estimated cost is around $2 million and the estimated duration of the entire project is about 37, 371 working days. We'll then discuss the details about the cost and schedule later in the presentation. Moving on to the design of the project, as I mentioned, it's a one-story building with steel structure framing. The structure consists of A992W section steel members and K-series open web joists. And overall, they're all connected through a simple shear connection. The overall structure height up to the top of the parapet is 21 feet. And instead of roof shingles, the roof will be a flat accessible area. Um, and this is for it to effectively store air handling equipment. The exterior facade will then have a brick veneer. Finally, this picture shows some of the components of the interior layout. The ceiling will consist of a suspended acoustical ceiling tiles. And then the pharmacy will be located at the northeast corner of the building and the cash reg register will be near the entrance. There will then be storage rooms, break rooms, and restrooms for the employees to use. We are proposing a location along Route NC-12 in the heart of Rodanthe, North Carolina. And the proposed land area is approximately 71,000 square feet which is perfect for the 13,000 square foot pharmacy as seen on the right. The zoning code is S-1, which stands for the special district. And the special district is established as a transition area to allow broad flexibility of services while also establishing certain limitations, setbacks, and other requirements such as parking requirements. Now, talking about the schedule, the start date of this project is September 13th, 2021, where the pre-construction phase starts and continues for 106 days. The second phase of the project is the construction phase, which starts after the pre-construction is complete, and it lasts for 242 days. The final phase of this project is the post-construction phase, and that lasts for 34 days, leading to the completion of the project on March 1st, 2023. Now, the project uh, the major milestones of the schedule includes the foundation completion date, which is April 4th, 2022. Steel completion date is June 7th, 2022. Drying completion date is August 15th, 2022. Uh, permanent power installation is on September 27th, 2022. And the substantial completion of this project is on January 12th, 2023. Now, the duration of this project is 371 days which includes a total of 89 days of estimated delays, which includes 75 days of weather delays and 14 days of holiday delays throughout the different phases of this project. So moving into our estimate, our first estimate looks into our divisional costs. Our divisional costs cover divisions one through 33. Most of our major costs come from our structural concrete, which is our slab on grade, our footers and also our sidewalk. Another main cost we have is our structural steel. These, these are the main costs of this project, but there are some other important costs that um, are in this project, such as the masonry costs, furnishings, and utilities. In total, our divisional costs round up to about $1.6 million. Looking more into our general condition costs, this includes our location factors, design fees, contingency costs, sales tax, general contractor costs, and our social security costs. Overall, this costs about 
$400,000, and it brings our, sub our total of the project to about $2.1 million. So the main focus of this analysis is to find the time needed for the pharmacy to generate enough revenue to pay off the initial cost of the project. Now, in 2017, the profit margin of independent pharmacies was at 21.8%. That makes the average independent pharmacy gross profit around $600,000. Uh, this number increased in 2019, making the average independent pharmacy gross profit around $715,000. Now, to examine the potential profit of the construction of this pharmacy in this area, we assume that the yearly income is around $715,000, which allows the owners to repay uh, the initial cost of the pharmacy in around a, a six-year time frame. So the purpose of our risk management plan is to proactively identify all the potential risks in this project and so that we may come up for, with plans to mitigate those risks. We do this by breaking down all the potential risks into categories based on uh, their potential impact on the project and the probability that they will occur on a basis of one to three. And then we rank those from lowest priority to high priority. For the sake of time uh, in our presentation, we're only going to discuss the highest priorities, which include weather delays. So to start with weather delays, uh, it's certain that coastal weather patterns are going to affect uh, the schedule of this project, which is going to account for lost time waste. Um, to account for this, we've appropriately factored that time into um, an extension of our project schedule. Next, uh, Rodanthe is in a tourist heavy area, uh, which sees peak seasons and off peak seasons. So the material lead times between those seasons is going to change the delivery duration. Uh, and we've reflected that longer lead time duration um, in part of our schedule as well. Next, uh, we're living in a post pandemic world and COVID-19, we're still seeing the implications of the pandemic on the supply chain. So uh, there really is a material shortage that goes along with price escalation. And in order to account for that additional cost, we're going to have to require compensation as a percentage of the project. Uh, Rodanthe is also a environmentally sensitive area. Um, it's just off the Pamlico Sound, which contains a high density of environmentally essential uh, submerged aquatic vegetation or SAVs. Um, and for this reason and a couple of others, uh, we anticipate that the environmental permitting agency is going to adhere to strict erosion and sediment uh, control requirements. So we've doubled our typical silt fencing and we're going to install extra erosion and sediment protection as specified in our QTO. And lastly, uh, the trade shortages. So for several years, the construction industry has witnessed a general uh, labor shortage, but that shortage is gonna be even worse in a remote location such as Rodanthe because very few trade contractors permanently uh, store their labor in an area like that. They don't have workers stationed in the area. So they're gonna require compensation for long-term housing. Um, therefore, we've factored a small percentage into the location factor to account for that trade compensation. So moving into our project justification and why we're proposing this project, one of the main things we focused on was looking at the age group of Rodanthe. The average age of the people living in Rodanthe full-time is around 50 years old. And based off of a survey that we found through the internet, average people between 45 and 54, over 50% 50 of them take pharmaceutical drugs. And as the ages get higher, that number increases. So we figured by putting a pharmaceutical place that tends to the needs of older people, as well as fluctuating tours throughout the season, through the on and off seasons, it'll provide an yearly influx of income. Moving into the closest pharmacy location. The closest pharmacy location to Rodanth is 30 miles. And sometimes that can be a huge inconvenience to people that are to tourists and full-time residents. So by putting a, pharmace a pharmacy in Rodanthe and limiting the amount of um, miles that people have to travel to get basic necessities or important pharmaceuticals was also a key factor we took into consideration. Lastly, but not least, return on, return on investment. Six years is a pretty short time for a return on investment. Based off our cost benefit analysis, this would be a real beneficial and um, a great return on investment in a short period of time. We thank you for listening to our project proposal. We hope you considered it.
Thank you.